So Eric is the madman behind the Ultimate FPV Park. We've seen a ton of this place in James' videos and some of the other Portland Cruise videos, and I've like always wanted to fly this place. Seeing it here, now in person, I'm like super stoked. And they've been telling us that even since what we've seen last time, they've been putting a ton of work into it, putting together some new obstacles. Slide off the ramp, land on the box. You know you're quite can fly, right? <laughs> Why fly when you can pretend to be a skateboarder? <laughs> yeah. Um, but this was the first thing you guys ever this built? This is the this first is thing we ever built Okay. in the park. Yeah, it was a learning lesson, <laughs> right? <laughs> These there. are about three feet in the ground, just in dirt for now. After this, we start putting them in cement, but realistically, when it's light like this, it just needs to be in dirt. You don't need to cement it in. One, and then these are roughly about six feet apart. Up top, so it's yeah. six foot by six foot square? Pretty much. Seeing it in person, it looks big, but when you fly it, it it's shrinks not. down oh, so much, yeah. right? Yeah. And I've flown other like man-made obstacles where I've seen people build like three or four foot gaps, and in person you're like, oh yeah, I yeah, hit that, and then totally. you go to fly, yeah. and you're like, screw this. So Everything seems smaller in the, in the camera, right? Yeah. Like these trees don't seem to be like a hundred and some feet high, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, you can power over them so quick. So, I mean, you build an eight by 20 foot wall and then you go fly it and you're like, that's small compared right. to like an office building. Such a simple change, just adding that plywood made such a fun obstacle, right? I can already tell this place just has really great flow. Cause like the spacing between that and this just seems like it's very thoughtful. Like it's not, it's not too far apart. Like you're not going to be bored trying to get to the next yeah. thing, but not, so close together mm -hmm. that like you're constantly packed in there. Well, Although I do like how close that is. Like yeah. you have that dive gap right there. That's sick. Oh, you that's can combo exactly right into why it. The dive gap's there, right? So you basically you fly it and realize, oh, I keep hitting this. We might as well put a gap here. Right. That's so <laughs> backwards. Well, that's also, <laughs> no, that's also that's... how we decide to remove limbs or full on yeah. trees. Like I see a lot of limbs pulled up there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So I've hand pruned this whole place with 40 feet of pole saw. This is like one of my favorite lines in the whole park right here. Uh, yeah. And is this tree is angled at a 40? Five degree That'd angle and you can ride right the tree limb up and you can kind of go either into that square dive there or you can now go over the vertical boards there i mean there's so much you can do up this tree right. this? at one point this was upright and in during a storm it just fell down into the perfect placement on this right. other tree here he's climbing it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's two years of flying out here. How did you do this? There's the broken prop bucket, right? Over the winter, I just dumped it all out and started stringing. What's cool is you can see the progression. Green and stuff was from like two years ago, and then it starts going up, and you see, you can see where the peanut butter jellies got popular, like right around the top, right? Hey, look at this new thing, what kind? These gimbals, man. Those are AG01 gimbals. Yeah. Oh, they're Rotorite AG01 gimbals. That's the Rotorite logo. Nice. It's the hot. Radio Masters. That's hot. Yeah. How's it going, Drew? You getting good packs? You ripping? I mean, I'm having a good time. You having a good time? This is the most fun I've had flying since Detroit. Like, since I, like, this is. Yeah. I'm really having a good time. This spot is just. That's awesome. That. That's awesome.
I was just done. You tapped it, you're gonna have to scrap this whole right? thing. Right? I don't know how that tree didn't just wipe me out. I was like, that's probably the best freestyle yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, yeah. yeah. That's sick. Absolutely oh. bonkers. Oh, is it playing here? Woo! Oh, I got the... Oh my god. I'm glad we're behind the net right now. I know, me too. <laughs> oh, is the net going to be enough? Probably not. This is Bubby's first time oh, seeing an X-Class. Yeah, you I've know. never seen an that X-Class so Like, I've seen, seen like, Sicarios and stuff like that, but then, oh, like... Oh, yeah, this is way This different. is way... It's Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, this was a thing for a minute. Oh, holy crap! Oh, no. Oh, no. Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube. You can do it up high. Yeah, just like up high. Like, oh. An old, oh. an old school Rubik's Cube. Just go really high. Half front flip, full roll. Just go really half high. Yeah, half roll. I mean, it's still cool. Yeah. It's still sick. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Good thing the props like just cut everything in its path. We want an X Class Rubik's Cube. I don't know how to do a Rubik's Half flip, full roll, half flip. Go up go high. Nice and high. Half flip. Nice full roll, full roll, full roll, half flip. But, uh, oh, 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 okay. Okay. That I don't know what that was, but it was incredible. That was a Rubik's Cube. That was incredible. It was like, it was like a, a diving It was like a one and a half Rubik's Cube. <laughs> While diving, inverted. That was definitely better than a Rubik's Cube. Bro, that's sick. It was not a Rubik's Cube. Look at that thing land. Bro. Nice. Wow. Woo! Wow. That was great. That was good.